I'm Jonathan Tippett, I'm an artist and an engineer, and me and my team are building a giant two-story tall wearable walking machine called Prosthesis the Anti-Robot. The first stage of the project is to build a prototype leg which we call the Alpha Leg. It's a two-third scale prototype leg that's mounted on a tower so that it's properly constrained and we can do testing for the control system and all of the power systems. Well, the, the whole intention of this project is to create a machine that's very intuitive to operate. And once you have the power pack in operation and the machine is live, it's a simple matter of grabbing the exoskeletal interface which mimics the two joints, the two major joints of your arm. It's planar shoulder motion and planar elbow motion. So the basic motion is just like this. And then you just have to start training. It's going to be terrifying. Uh, it's absolutely going to be terrifying. I mean, even just operating this thing when it was in a toned down state, before I had this interface and I was up there working the levers manually and I look at footage of what I was doing and I was lifting like a meter really slowly and it was terrifying. Like I was letting out screams like a little girl and I was thrilled and I was thinking, oh my god, this thing's amazing, it's going to jump and it was getting like two inches of air. And now that it's powered up and in full operation and I've made the controls remote like this and I can actually give her some stink, the thing's doing like two feet of air. To a certain extent I like the idea of, of appreciating the artistic value of the project and exhibiting it in, in very artistic contexts like galleries. But mostly I, I want to take it to the people. I want to have it out on the streets. It's really easy to create stunning machinery on a flat screen. But what's really impactful about these, this project is that it is real and that it has a real presence and it has a weight and it actually shakes the ground. The Mondo Spider and Daisy, the three and a half ton solar powered tricycle, were the two machines or characters, if you will, that sort of met and fall in love and, and begat Eat Art. It was uh, over them that the umbrella of Eat Art formed. We took the Mondo Spider out to the USA Science and Engineering Festival last year and we've been invited back uh, along with the snake. The, Mon uh, the, the Mondo Spider and Titanoboa are hopefully going to be able to do uh, a joint deployment out in Washington DC for that uh, return engagement. Of course, the Titanoboa was also exhibited at Burning Man last year and will probably be returning this year. If you've got any questions about how the project is being run or technical questions about how the machine works or are interested in supporting the project, I would welcome uh, an email. Uh, you can find me at anti-robot.com. That's the website for, for prosthesis.